Hey everybody, welcome back to the CNSL Season 7. We are in the decider match of the round of 16's Group B. It's going to be Mihu, the best Terran outside of Korea, going up against Scan, a big fan favorite and one of the strongest Terrans in the world. I think it's going to be slightly Scan favored, but should be some good games. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into this and uh, see how this goes down. It's going to be a best of three for that second spot joining Saber in the round of eight. In the bottom left, our Terran player from Korea, Scan. That's him in that SCV right there. And in the top right, from China, it's Mihu. Both some big fan favorites, I think, right? Like, Scan is the best player in the world with fluent English, great personality, really strong, has been in ASL. Mihu, kind of like one of these hopes of non-Korean players, uh, doing really well against the Korean pros. You know, still not quite the level to get into ASL, but that's that's hard. You know, we've only seen Scan able to do it one time even. So uh, I think it's, it's a pretty good matchup for these two. I do think that Scan is a bit stronger in every matchup than Mihu. He plays a more standard style as well, just to, to mention. Not that he's completely robotic or something, but uh, there is something to off styles versus on styles. The reason why certain styles are more used is because they have a bit more flexibility, uh, a bit more power in some ways. And, you know, again, even that being said, it's more important to play your own style uh, than to necessarily follow what is strongest. Like you can follow what is strongest. I think it's a very good way to practice as you're getting better. But at some point, you do have to kind of do what feels right to you, what you're good at. And for Mihu, that's something completely different. I, I was mentioning this before. I loved the game that he put out uh, previously against Leda. You know, on that Apocalypse map, I thought uh, a very cool build. But he is more of like a Mines user. He's more of a Goliath user in the early game. Scan? Scan, like, he knows every single type of build. Uh, I honestly am not sure what he'll open with here. Like, I could see him go on Wraith Tank. Um, Wraith Tank sounds super, super safe against Mihu because Mihu almost never goes 3 Factory Vulture. And the thing is, you can open Wraith Tank and be safe against 3 Factory Vulture, but sometimes you'll see a, a screw up and you'll be in trouble. Um, but yeah, anyways, I, enough, enough guessing about it. We'll see how this goes down as we build up towards it. Uh, guys, I do want to thank you all for checking out our Toast's Cast. I hope that you've been enjoying the CNSL. Uh, you know, the round of 16 is an incredibly fun round. Uh, much, much longer matches overall. So, yeah, we have been split up the videos a little bit, and that's that's going to continue. I think that this is a pretty good format uh, to do it as. And, yeah, uh, just thanks for following the channel, for subscribing, for liking the video, for leaving a comment. All that stuff is really appreciated and really helps the channel to grow. Uh, and, you know, the, the better the channel does, the, the more work it gets, the more great tournaments and stuff. You know, we are a partial sponsor at Artosis Cast for uh, this tournament. So, you know, it's a it's a great thing to be able to, like, give back, for instance, a little bit to Caster Muse and and uh, the, the pro scene for playing so many great games for us to watch. So thank you. All right, let's take a look at the builds. Looks like factory expansion on that side, and then a two factory, no add-on here from me, who noticed that he's taken all but one SCV off here. I don't think he will go armory. I actually prefer this build when you take uh, the one SCV off gas if you're cross-spawn, but we'll see what he goes for. Now he sees... He saw the uh, Vulture Kills SCV, and we don't know the exact amount of time it, it kept vision. Uh, the Keeping a vision of dead units is a little bit random. Uh, but basically, it's a second Vulture on the way, which which could or could not play into the favor of Mihu. It matters, right? Because if he's going to go pure Vulture nonstop, then the add-on is probably good for him. But if Scan gets a tank out and is able to hold right here, then he's going to be uh, pretty well ahead. Now, second factory starting, add-on on the way. Two vultures and two marines on this high ground. So, really good start there. Brings his vultures off to the side. So, this is a common tactic. You're trying to draw the vultures out. Oh, he's just, he's skipping the barracks. I thought he might try to bait him because 
what you do is if you're making vultures nonstop, you attack the racks. And then if they think, OK, I think I have enough vultures and they come out and you have one more, you kill all the vultures. So right now, Mihu moving forward. Is he going to go up the ramp? Holy shit, he starts to. Takes a takes a shot there. The targeting from scan here going to be incredibly important. So he's going to target down Marines really quickly here because they do have the highest DPS of all the units. Oh my god, he missed a shot there. His Vulture went to here and missed the shot against here. High ground versus low ground. Terrible situation for scan. Mihu going to get some pretty powerful damage. Fair amount of SCVs falling so far. Pulls back, waits for some more. Doesn't want this one to die instantly. And look at this. He's going to two-shot this vulture. Oh, he actually missed with that last shot there uh, because he was out of range, not because it was a 1 in 250 sh chance. But uh, targeting down a lot, really great execution here from Mihu. Mihu may just be taking this first game. This is a huge amount of damage. Now, the vulture does fall back to the high ground. He is getting a siege tank. Oh, my God. Mihu is super ahead. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, kills this. Does he go into the main? He's missing a lot of shots right there. Oh, is he going to lose it? Ah, just barely gets it out. Okay. Woo. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have to look at where we're at in this game. Here is Mihu. His command center is finished. He's going to start mining. He is up nine SCVs. Here is Scan. He's getting the speed upgrade. He's getting a secondary siege tank. He's down 10 SCVs right now, and he's not producing off the facts. So this is pretty rough. He's getting speed. The funny thing here is if he had, like, mm, if he had just a few more SCVs, he might be able to make enough vultures to gain some sort of map control. But you can see Mihu playing really smart. Like, he just leaves his vultures on that little high ground strip, kills the first tank that comes down, going to just trade as best he can. Just these doing anything right now is gigantic. Scan going to move up to that high ground. Utilizes his tanks to uh, overwhelm the vultures a little bit. And he will continue to rally. Now I imagine he's making tanks. Yep. Speed and mines on the way. That's interesting. I thought he would go siege with this. Because when I saw the two add-ons, it's pretty clear that he wants to go tanks. But to go ta for tank into speed and mines is really, really, really interesting. Uh, it's not that it cannot work, but if you're making four tanks, you well, you, actually his academy is right on the way. It can be a little bit dangerous unless you attack super fast, because if your opponent gets mines up, the tanks are just going to explode. Here, he should be able to get a couple scans, and in fact, he's going into just four factory production. So right now, running up, look at that, scan, trying to run by with the vultures a little bit to get some uh, damage into me who's natural, but Mew's going to clean that really quickly. That's rough. Okay, if I'm Mihu, I counterattack right now 100% of the time. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Starts to move out. He killed a lot of vultures there, so he doesn't have to worry about mines too much. He knows that mines were not are not out on the map. I'm surprised he's just sitting there. I really am. Like, I think he's just afraid of another uh, vulture run by. But he killed so much. You know that your opponent is on, like, one tank. And because those vultures ran in that quickly you know that they didn't have mines. They were all empty on mines. It's something that you do uh, in TBT quite oftentimes is in the early game, you'll click on your opponent's vultures, like click on several of them because it's really hard to get them all empty on mines. So that can kind of tell you if you haven't seen, if you're not sure about mines, that, that basically makes you 99% sure. So three vultures are going to try a run by here from Scan. Scan's within five SCVs now. Forget, Don't forget he was down about 10 at the worst point. And he is going to kill quite a few more. Looks like mostly catching up. Mostly catching up. Some mines being laid by scan. The tank's out in the middle. Looks like they do want to turn around at this point. Let's take a look at where the map is, right? Scan has mines here, 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 and here. So first off, the two entrances to his area are mined up. And he can see anything coming in. You can see vultures run up. And then he lays some defensive mines there and goes to intercept. Then he's got some of the trickier routes mined up, right? Those are the tricky routes where if you're trying to dodge and just suddenly appear at Scan's base, those are ways that you might end up going down. So Scan has kind of sewn everything up pretty tight. Worker count is very similar. Supply is in advantage of Mihu. So Mihu has a little bit bigger army and, you know, just a couple more SCVs. 
Mihu moving across the map. He's been repairing up those siege tanks. One of them did get hit by mine, but mine does not one-shot a tank. Barracks scouting what is in front of him. He's going to set up a containment. Okay. Now, this is something you really have to think about as scan. How do you want to approach this game? Let's see what his, his buildings are. He's going to Starport. This is when you go like three factory into something like this. It's a bit of a desperation tactic. Okay. So I think Scan is looking at this and saying, okay, I am a bit behind. We need to do something to catch up. And this is absolutely something you can do to catch up, right? So he's clearing this area. The thing is, with Mihu rallying down and having a bigger army and kind of having map control at this point, he sieges here. Now he's going to siege here. So that would keep you on three bases. Unless you break out, which is going to be cost and efficient. Or, oh, in fact, it looks like he wants to attack here. Oh, my God. Okay, going to siege. He's going to knock out the siege tank, so that's a nice move. A little bit of vulture harassment up there. And, in fact, uh, Scan does get ahead on workers, finally. So he sieges up here, and he's trying to deny the space. This is, like, this is a little bit over the top for me, who I want to say. All right? So he's, like, doing so much right now. He's containing but also attacking. Like, this is... Mm, I mean, if you make it really messy for your opponent, it can be very good, but, like, this is this is a little bit of an over-commitment, I would say. Because, like, whatever Scan is doing, he has enough to kill three tanks. Whether it's Wraiths, whether it's additional factories, right? No matter... Literally, no matter what he's doing, he has enough to kill three tanks. So, that felt like a little bit of an over-investment. If you kept them back here, it's a different story because your opponent has to walk through mines as well and you see what's coming before it hits. That wasn't the case down here. And now, Scan, with those Wraiths, is getting multiple tanks. So, the Wraiths actually really paying off. And, in fact, I think that's going to probably be all he makes. Like, he's got five right now. I think five is a good, solid number. Like, he can maybe push back some more of this as well. He's chasing these tanks way across the map. There are going to be some Goliaths coming out now. Even killing off the barracks is really strong. Scan getting his third base. Mihu's just now finishing. <laughs> Landing the barracks there for a bit of harass. Trying to take out another siege tank here. Man, those five wraiths doing an absolutely killer job for Scan. Well, it looks like the uh, Goliath's going to be able to push these wraiths back. Scan is still only on three factories. He's actually still making wraiths, which I find a little bit surprising. But he has moved his tanks up a little bit. Some more vulture rotations coming down. Goes in for this base. That one vulture actually buying a ton of time. Mihu drilling out with the SCVs he had left. But plenty of vultures coming in to block that. So right now, look at this. He's like taxing the scans. Okay, okay, I get it. This is kind of the more important thing, right? Like, he's taken over this area. So what this does is it opens up a path possibly into the center, but more likely to the side, right? Where from this side, he could attack if he goes to the north, but he can also expand to these bases. And when you have that many bases at your disposal, if you remember earlier in this group, the Leda game that Scan played against. Remember, Leda got five bases. So I'm like, guess what you can afford with that, guys? Everything. How many bases? One, two, three. Four, five. So that gives much better options to scan overall. Okay, so right now, Mihu roaming about. He's definitely got a bit of a superior army here. You can see he's up a good 10-ish supply, but also down 13 in workers. So uh, his army for sure stronger. And even 10 of that supply is rates, right? So those don't really factor in very much in ground army versus ground army. Scan being very, very active with his rates. He's the amount of scans that we've seen go off. And look at this. Now, as he flies towards the main, he even sees, oh, me who wants to go two port against me? LOL. We can hard counter that now with scan. You just kind of keep an eye on this, see if he cancels this, see if he finishes it. Do you need to end up going Valkyries? Do you just want to add Goliaths yourself? Like, there's a lot of options for scan open right now. More and more rates still being made. Looks like he's thinking about maybe pushing through some of this area. 
You know, in a situation like this where you still have the air dominance, you can push through these areas sometimes. Uh, he's scanning right now to get rid of the mines because when you push forward, if you don't have vision, because basically what you have to do is siege outside of their vision because tanks have uh, an additional range uh, over their vision. But if you have to scan to check your opponent and it scans mines, they'll attack the mines first. So it's important to siege out of range, clear mines, and then get into range and siege, right? Very, very important tactic that I think a lot of Terran players don't realize. A lot of Goliaths in the center, a lot of siege tanks. Very strong central map control. Scan getting his fourth base. Do we have a fourth base for Mihu? We do not. We just do not. Mihu trying to break in right now. Pushing forward very, very strongly. And he's actually going to break through these tanks. Scan in some trouble here. Has he purchased too many wraiths? Did he just not get enough siege shanks? He's moving almost his entire siege shank contingent over from the left towards the right. Mihu does not send anything through. If he had sent even three vultures in here, that could have been devastating. That could have been devastating to Scan. Scan gets some siege shanks over in time here. He is saved. Sets up his tanks and he's going to be fine. Look at that. A ton of SCVs going over as well. Now, what is Mihu's plan? Dude, holy crap. Four, seven, eight factories on three base. Definitely me who wants to think about getting a fourth base up. Scan with his four bases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven factories. Kind of a more normal thing, what, how Scan is playing it. Well, not from the Wraiths, though. This has been a wild TVT overall. But as far as factory count, I think the seven into eight is going to be really, really good. Whereas eight before a third is like, well, you just have to cut production to get another command center up. And there it is. He is going to get a command center up, but it's at a mineral base. Not quite as strong. The rates of scan still finding value where they can. Don't forget, while he has these up, by the way, you're not going to see dropships really produced. Like, you might start to make them in anticipation of, uh, of, of doing drops later on, but, like, it's very hard to do anything with them right now. Some missile turrets starting to be put up all around the place. And it looks like Mihu kind of taking a little bit of a position on this side. I think that is smart. You don't want Scan to be able to take that. Still has a reasonable siege line over here. Has a lot of units in the center to reinforce, which is important, right? Because wherever someone attacks out, you need to reinforce quickly. It's much quicker for Mihu to reinforce if you look at this forward position, right? He's got two different contains. Sorry, I zoom out so much in TVT, guys, but this is what matters in the matchup. And then you keep a group of units behind everything, right? Like, look at this. Wherever Scan attacks, he can reinforce the army by two times his strength, like, instantly because he's here. Whereas, let's say that uh, Mihu attacked here. You have to bring from here to there. Or if you're, you know, it's just, it's further for him. So it's a little bit harder. Those forward positions can be very, very strong in Terran versus Terran. By the way, fifth base going up for Scan. Mihu still doesn't have a functioning fourth. The command center's done, but that's it. He's got a huge gas bank. He's kind of been overproducing vultures, to be completely honest. There is a point in the game where you should switch from vulture production into heavier tank, heavier goliath, or air units. Just anything to spend that gas. Now, Scan starts to come up, and you can see that reinforcement instantaneously from Mihu. Scan still trades reasonably well here. He has a huge flock of wraiths still. I guess he's just sitting around 12 to help out. And this can help a lot as well. Look at this. Gets up here. Going to just pick off a random tank. And then flies away. You know, over time, these do pay for themselves. Each one of these costs the same amount as a tank. So if you're killing a tank there, it's like, okay, one of them paid for themselves. And you're going to do that over and over and over. Scan sieging out to the left side. Suddenly, we have a lane out to the left side of the map. So we have a lane to the right. We have a lane to the left. And Mihu's central map control no longer anywhere near as powerful as it was earlier in the game. You know, Mihu had a pretty sizable advantage at the beginning of this game, if you recall. He was up a good 9 to 10 SCVs. And, you know, we're sitting here looking at this game now 15 minutes later. And Scan has just fought back relentlessly. Look at this. Clearing out this in the center. Pushing back Mihu. What does Mihu control? He controls so little now. 
Scan is truly getting far ahead. He's starting to add his own dropships in. Very, very good play. Mihu trying to siege this area now. It's only three tanks. This is not that scary, even with plus two. He's got a group of tanks here. Honestly, like, Scan can clear all this. He could get up here, do a containment on Mihu. In fact, it looks like he might attack this base. Mihu frantically moving over to try to block it. Oh, Scan towards the top left now. Leading with some of those leftover vultures. Tanking some shots. The flank from Mihu coming up, but Scan already sieged pretty heavily. You know, Mihu hitting from two sides, definitely doing a reasonable job, but Scan does have some high ground there as well. And does break through. So suddenly we have this huge route that can be taken. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, TVT is best zoomed out. So now we have this huge route that has like six units, all Goliaths in the path to the top left. If Mihu loses top left, the game's over. There's just, there's no chance at that point. Mihu trying hard. He's bringing down a lot of siege tanks with his Goliaths. Yeah, this is... I think Scan's going to just take this game like any minute. Look at this. He's crushed the center contain. The last bit of units in the center that Mihu had. Mihu might be able to remove these, but the cost for which is, is a bit too high. Scan going to siege up this fourth base location, so he's going to lose a huge amount of his mineral mining. Still has a big gas bank, but yeah. I think Scan has basically done it at this point. Scan's bank is continuing to grow. He still has wraiths flying around a little bit. I guess top left is still secure, technically. And look at this. Scan just punishing every aspect. He's going to hit depots over here, threaten a drop over here. How do you defend here and here and drops into the main base? Because there are dropships. Look, five dropships for Scan right now. Valkyries and uh, Wraiths being made from Mihu. Maybe kind of a last-ditch effort. Kills off those Wraiths, so that's nice. But, I mean, five dropships loaded up. This could be a death blow. With only one tank in the main. Yeah, if he drops it over here or even drops it there. I think the game ends. Scan's got so much going on here as well. All right, here we go. Yeah, I actually think that's going to be game. There's really nothing left for Mihu. He cannot clear that. Uh, yeah, and in fact, he GG's instantly. All right, Scan wins game number one. So now we're in game number two. We have Scan in the top left of Retro, and in the top right, we have Mihu. Uh, you know, that, that first game, I think Scan really showed his level, right? Like, Mihu definitely has a lot of hype around him. He's a great player. But, you know, don't ever forget just the rock-solid play of Scan. He He's very smart. You could see that he knew what he was doing. He knew the important aspects that he was looking for and was able to fight his way back. Mihu getting a that big an SCV lead and, leaving, and losing the game, that has to feel very bad, right? It just, it, that is not a good position when you're up 10 workers with the same amount of bases and then like not only that but your vultures like catch all your opponent's units and all that and it's just like you have to feel pretty outplayed there you even get the containment up like there was a lot of things going for Mihu and he just didn't quite he didn't quite cross his T's and dot his I's so we'll see if he's able to do a bit better this game uh, you know if he opens up with another advantage like that that would be amazing. I think it's hard to do that multiple times in a Terran versus Terran. But we'll see what type of risk he wants to take. You know, that cross-spawn, double factory play. Uh, it can work out sometimes. Definitely can be rough, too. Scan with the barracks in his main base. Mihu as well. And we should just be seeing gases go up on both sides. I'd be a little bit surprised if they go for a gasless with this. Yeah, there you go. So those uh, gases do go up. And it looks like probably a factory expand on both sides, but you never know. You know, that two factory play, 
Uh, I do find the two-factory play actually be very good against Scan in general. <laughs> it's not a bad choice. Even I've had games against him where I kill half of his SCVs. Of course, lose like Mihu as well, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Mihu going for a little bit of a quicker scout, but he is going in the wrong direction, unfortunately. We'll see where Scan goes. Does he go to the south or does he go to the right? Yeah, he's going to go to the south as well, so he's going to be pretty late on that scout also. But that means that their barracks will probably float towards each other here. Marine on the way. Their gas synced up just about perfectly. And Mihu optimizing at that factory as quickly as possible. And there's scan. So this is about as mirrored as you can really get. We'll see how many Marines they each make. It's kind of the, the next question. Looks like scan's going to go for two. Two is the most standard for sure. I did mention in a previous uh, match that, you know, you can sometimes intuit what they're going to do by the Marine count. Mihu will probably go one. Yeah. It's just, if you are if you know that you're going for an armory, you just, you don't really need the second Marine. You know? The thing is, the second Marine can help out against so many things, like quick pushes and stuff too, but the Goliaths do that as well. So it's just like, yeah, you can get everything a little bit quicker by skipping that one Marine. And this Marine just pushes the SCV back and that's about it. So Mihu coming down for his expansion. This should be a Goliath build, maybe a build with mines as well, but it doesn't have to be, right? You can actually... Uh, things like the, the Marine Count, those are all just kind of personal choices. Now, one thing to mention, add on immediately, immediately for scan. If Mihu sends the Vulture across the map, he'll get an advantage. We don't know what he's going to do with it. If it sits at home, scan gets the advantage. And when I say advantage, I, I do want to, again, make this clear that this does not mean that the game is ending. It does not mean that it is not something that you can come back from. But it is an advantage. So look, he's making multiple vultures with no add-on, and Scan is going for a siege tank. This is greatly favored against this. Uh, now, he goes for the add-on. The thing is, if you just start rallying the tank over and start attacking immediately... Oh, is, what's he going with this? Is he going to go second fact? I actually am unsure right now. So second tank gets started right away. Does he start attacking right away? I think you can kind of know there's no, there's no vulture here. Because his barracks flew over. He didn't see a single vulture. He's actually going to dive in and try to get the marines. No? Oh, wow. I'm shocked. I'm just... Everything is shocking. So he loses one. He doesn't get anything done. Huh. Making his own tank, but he's going to be playing against two tanks. Like, Scan definitely has an advantage in these builds. And again, it's not necessarily the end of the world. But especially with this, I like this very much. The three fact, and then he'll go speed with this. So basically, two tanks pressuring your opponent who's on two fact, and he's going to try to go mines. So like... You can, you can stop all this with the mines. Here, like, ooh, that was a good land. That was a really good landing. It's got to repair those up. Scan just poking. I think he's over poking. Yeah, see, Mihu got a shot off there. I don't, I don't see a real reason for that. I think he's just trying to hold him in so he has time for a secondary tank to come. Because once you have two tanks, obviously that beats one tank pretty hard. There is a second tank here for Mihu who is going for mines. Now, does he make a third tank or does he go vulture here? Because if it's two tank versus two tank, <coughs> you have to have some mines down to have a chance because your opponent's going to be on three factory speed vulture and you're going to be on two factory regular vulture. So right now, uh, he pushes him back and lays some mines down. But again, the uh, advantage as far as vultures will go to scan here shortly. Scan is down a few SCVs. That's actually pretty common when you're going for a quick three factory that you'll have an SCV or two cut. Uh, whereas Mihu has sat on two factories this whole time. He's going to be down an army slightly, but up an SCV slightly. Thing is, this will gain map control. Right now, Mihu's being like really super bold and pushing out some. And as long as he lays mines, he'll be like kind of okay because he has two tanks. But the Vulture count will start to eclipse his somewhat. Armory on the way. Academy is up. He's laid some mines pretty far out. This is well played by Mihu. Starport for scan. That's not too common. 
This is not too common to fall up to the three factory, but you do see it from time to time. If you think your opponent's going to come over the top with vultures, and in fact, he sees speed, he's seen mines, right? So it's okay to look at that and say, okay, I think he's, he's going to go heavier vulture. With the two tanks, you can just stay on three factory production, go for a couple rates, fly over, and if they don't already have the armory, you can get a huge lead off of that. Now, in this particular case, uh, there is going to already be an armory by the time a Wraith gets there. So uh, that strategy not going to do as much as he was looking for. But, you know, still everything very, very playable from both sides. The speed Vultures just kind of rotating around on both sides. There are quite a few mines up here. He's got to be careful about that. All right, does a scan. Covers a huge amount of area there. Okay. Almost no mines out on the map for scan right now. Got a few defensive ones up there. He's moving his army forward. There is a single Goliath on the way. If that single Goliath walks right down here, scan is not going to be happy about that. Because he's already got a containment. Now, the containment here, there are other ways out, but they aren't very strong. This is... It's kind of similar to what we saw in Citadel, right? Here, there's three points out. There's this little ramp this little ramp and this bigger area the bigger area is super powerful to control you can easily control the ramps later with smaller amounts of units this one going to be a little bit harder but like the unit flow of units out of there is not very strong whereas you being able to hit anywhere from here is very very strong so me who positionally right now is in a lead the race going to be helpful though i think scan has a very reasonable shot of just digging his way out of here Barracks going to fall. Let's see. Four racks here for Mihu. He's actually throwing down missile turrets before a third CC. That's crazy. I am really surprised about that. So eBay and two missile turrets. We're like, that's like 300 minerals approximately, right? It's pretty expensive. I'm just, I'm surprised to see that this early. Uh, for the most part at pro level play, unless your opponent's going to port Wraith, like two port wraith with cloak for the most part you won't see an engineering bay made until four command centers and then you have so much money you know it's fine it's just like you can throw turrets everywhere uh but yeah that does definitely stifle things like the speed of the command center look at that definitely slower than it could have been uh well scans not particularly fast either he's going into three factory well that will be all siege tank eventually but he is making a few vultures with it right now as well so it looks like it's going to be mass tank for scan. Over on Miu's side, he actually gets his three add-ons super quick as well. No plus one as of yet. Scan does have that plus one going. They're both getting those third bases at the same time. A few vultures around still laying mines. Some turrets going up. Kind of nice uh, positional awareness. Still has mostly a contain and has a turret there to really make him strong against those wraiths. Now, a little vulture drop into the main base. Going to go ahead and remove a few SCVs. Actually doing really reasonable here. Scan getting a, a really fair amount of SCVs with this draw. For such a late game drop as well. Got to be a bit frustrating for me. Who, Of course, not the end of the world. Like, You can lose some SCVs in TVT. And it's probably the easiest matchup to come back from losing workers. It's like Protoss vs. Terran and Terran vs. Terran. It's just... It's so hard for Terrans to actually attack each other that, you know, even though you've you've killed a bunch of workers, it's like, no, I can still kind of just turtle up and, you know, get the game closer in other ways. So right now, Scan reinforcing those mines. Mihu with a very funny group of units down at the bottom. Another drop coming into the main. <laughs> there is a siege tank here this time. Just don't think we're going to find too much. Laying a few mines. Those mines actually could be helpful later on. Give him a little view into the main base and see if it's uh, droppable later on for a bigger drop. Loses those vultures. Uh, not not a huge deal. Third base is up and mining on both sides. Mihu with a very small army here. I still don't know why this group was sitting down here for so long. Seems out of position. Doesn't seem that strong. And look at this. Scan hitting a little bit of harassment here with these vultures hitting this additional base. Catching a few SCVs at least. Killing off a few vultures as well. These are on a one-way trip. 
Mihu will be able to clear those. Probably good to leave a unit or two here, just in general. By the way, Mihu still hasn't even started an upgrade. So that is definitely an issue. He's sitting on four factories right now with three base. We haven't really seen what his plan is as far as another base. And it doesn't look like he's not trying to do some sort of breaking push or anything either. He is adding that barracks once again, so that will allow him to, uh, you know, make some, make some more factories at least. All right, in comes the dropships from scan. Three dropships here ready to go. Oh, there are mines here though. No, it looks like he does dodge all of those. And look at this, this siege tank out of position. This is really rough right now for Mihu. Scan getting a great drop off here. It's going to be really cost inefficient to clear. He brings over his wraiths for that additional vision as well. Putting a little bit of damage onto these siege tanks so they get picked off a bit quicker from these plus one siege tanks. Yeah, this is this is incredibly tough for Mihun. Look at this. Scan taking another base, deciding to siege up here a little bit. Has a lot of dropships. Looks like he's going to reinforce this before it even gets clean. That can be a really strong move indeed. All right, in comes this drop now. Oh, he's going up into the corner a little bit here. Oh my god, that mine. Okay, the mine does get picked off. The tanks are actually getting some decent hits. Mihu going to clear this piece a lot easier. So that that little drop from Scan not doing anywhere near as much. We'll see. Maybe the few leftover units can still do something here. Yeah, shelling a few uh, SCBs. Moves his tank up here. We'll be able to clear that as well. Not 100% the end of the world here. But things are looking much better for Scan. Me, who, by the way, did lose his armory, which wasn't upgrading uh, any attack anyways, and add, having to add a ton of depots everywhere else on the map. Definitely needs to get into those upgrades. That's making me really nervous for him, because Scant has plus two on the way. A huge, huge upgrade in Terran versus Terran. So finally, me, who is going to be able to remove this drop. It did so much damage, though. Really well done from Scan. And now Scan is sitting here for base, Okay. He's going to be massing up. I imagine he's going to add more factories or starports uh, and really get his macro flowing. He is taking another base in that bottom left. And really, I think the next thing for scan is you mass up and you either break through here or you do another big drop. Both of those could be good. Look at this. He's forcing me to have units here, here, here. He even has a little bit sprinkled elsewhere on the map as well. So Scan now can kind of direct his forces into one area. This is the type of situation where your opponent is spread a little bit too thin. And if you can find them spread a little bit too thin in Terran vs. Terran, that's where you can start to gain some real advantages. Scan right now, he might be waiting for that plus two attack as well. He brings his dropships up here. Maybe going to repair them. Uh, looks like some SCV is going to be going in. Uh, yeah. Good find from Mihu, denying the space at least for now. He does have some siege tanks here as well, so going to be a little bit hard to uh, to defend that. Maybe you can bring dropships over and like drop tanks up here to try to defend, something like that. I'd love to see Mihu actually move his tanks up here and build turrets. I think that would be a very strong move. Kind of stop the bottom left from being taken, because that's the natural progression for Scan, is to expand down here. So he actually does force a cancel. Yeah, dude. It, really, if he moves his tanks up here, builds some more turrets... I know Scan's definitely... He's still winning. Like, Scan's still winning if Mihu does that, but that's a great move. And it's not that many tanks, but it's annoying to deal with. Now, Scan's trying to come down one of these tiny ramps. Can definitely be a little bit cost inefficient. Doesn't have his plus two quite yet, but he will be able to break through. Some more tanks coming out of Mihu's main base. Yeah, look at this. Scan breaking through, and he might actually be the one to get a contain. Look, we have this little area contained by Mihu, and now Scan is actually containing the same area on Mihu's side. Right? Well, I guess this one's a little bit further forward, so the choke is a little bit smaller, so this contain is stronger in a way. But Mihu now has to take this into consideration. Do we break this? Do we send dropships through this way? Do we send the army to the south? 
Right now, he's using that south area to get units back out onto the map. But definitely, this is something he needs to think about and deal with eventually. Scan sieging up right next to the main base. Maybe a little bit greedy there on the siege. Lots of scans going off. They're both trying to figure out exactly each other's out. Now, look at this. Look at this. Scan when we were watching all that other stuff got dropships down here. So now he's sieged the bottom left, which is the natural place for Miu to go. And Miu has sieged the bottom left. Well, did I say bottom left twice? Well, this is the bottom right. This is the bottom left. And they both kind of took their the cross spawns and sieged them up. So both of them recognizing a great move when they see it. And both of them going to expand to their opponent's side of the map quote unquote side of the map, right? Much harder to get to, but denying your opponent and having defense for your own expansion go hand in hand. <laughs> now scan does come in with those drop ships, comes in from a different angle, and he's going to be able to at least deny this command center, which is pretty big. <laughs> On top of that turret there. Turrets bug out if something's directly over them, like 100% directly over them. Uh, and you saw that for a moment. But look, he's going to force me who's canceled CC here. Building a lot of missile turrets as well. Has some nice two on tanks. Me who's still not with his plus one upgrade. So his tank's unable to keep up as, as good of a fight as Scan's. Scan is maxed out. He's up a lot of supply at the moment. He, this is a good position. He's denied this base. So me who's literally sitting here three base. This is kind of reminiscent of our last game. Right? Where Mihu maybe gets an early contain on, but then he's sit on three base for a really long time. Scan is kind of outdoing him with some flying units. Out positioning and whatnot. We'll see what he's able to do with it. It looks like he wants to take this base. Of course, you have to guard against these tanks sieging from high ground. Shouldn't be too hard. If you just put like three tanks up here with a turret, you'll be fine. Scan in the meantime, getting ready to break this area. He's going to want to hit a, a, a commsat scanner over here, clear some of these mines out, get ready for it. Maybe even bomb on the tanks as he breaks out. Going around right now, his own contain set up very strongly. Oh. And looks like Mihu will clear this bottom left. So Scan going to lose that command center, but again, not the end of the world for Scan. Oh, look at that. Okay, I was wondering where he was going with that. The drops actually come into a very funny position where he's be between the rally and a base. Doesn't look like they'll be too effective this time. Mihu clearing out quite a bit. Scan, bring over drop ships to refill. Now, the thing is, he doesn't actually have that great of mining. Okay, this is mined out. This is mined out. A ton of SCVs up there. This is still going. This is still going. He has this, but no SCVs here. And it's hard to get SCVs there, right? Look at the center of the map. You can't just walk them down. You have to find some other way. Oh, man. It's like me who trying to clear this. Not, not going to be successful with that. Scan somehow does not have Goliath range yet. Going to be something he wants to think about. But yeah, he's got to get more SCDs down here. Maybe either let these die and then remake or try to send some dropships, something like that. The one thing I really want to see out of Scan at this point, though, is breaking something. If he breaks any area, Mihu is on the brink of death at that point. Like, Mihu's still holding on because he still has a few powerful areas, right? This is denying a bit. He has this base up and he's denying up here, right? So he's this area is kind of sealed up nicely, although he should move some of these down and build some turrets here, although he doesn't have many minerals, so that's a problem. Still has a containment here. We just caught Scan uh, getting rid of the mines, so that might be pushable in a little bit. Scan moving down. Unfortunately, these siege tanks were out of position, so Scan finds a nice way in to hit this gas. Always very powerful to attack your opponent's gases in this matchup gas really the defining resource although we do see with Mihu and he's he's banking a lot more gas and minerals uh you know scan here I think has a hard time even spending all his money you could go mass wraith look at that he has enough money for 30 wraiths at the moment <laughs> kind of crazy 
Some more factories going to be added. Not that he should go race. That's sometimes you can lose a game when you go race if your opponent has great upgrades. And But actually here, race would be completely fine. Uh, Scan could really do anything. He's going for uh, physics lab, so maybe battle cruisers again this game. But Mihu's upgrades are like very, very poor. So you can kind of do anything. You can go mech, you can go... Uh, you know, you can go race, you can go dropship play, you can go battle cruisers. Mihu's in a very, very tough position for a lot of reasons right now. Cute little double tank drop. Gonna try to harass some of the mining here of Scan. Do what he can. Scan should be able to clear that pretty easily. Scan repositioning on this containment. Gonna send some units to the south. Loads up a lot of dropships. Gonna be going around this single missile turret once again. <laughs> Mihu ferrying down some more tanks. Okay, trying to make this attack something real now instead of just harassment. Don't think that's really gonna work though. Scan just flying over some missile turrets. Going to be able to clear this out pretty easily. Mihu has... This is like all that he has left, basically. Okay, this is going to be mining out very shortly. Looking at Scan. He hasn't started much, many battle cruisers. Like, two battle cruisers started. Okay. Really, he should throw away SCVs at this point. And in fact, this drop will actually help him, as hilarious as that is. This will actually help him. He's got a big enough bank. You don't want these SCVs anymore. In fact, the SCVs may manhandle this too well, and it won't help him enough because he only loses like 10. He could send all these SCVs that are fighting, just like right-click them over here, and that's a great move right now. Reduce that SCV count. Get a few more battle cruisers going. Get a few more of whatever going. And apply that pressure on a me who's barely mining at this point. You know, he's about to be down to one base. Very, very shortly. Mihu, though, okay, he's going to clear a little bit here. You know, here's the thing. If he could clear this, get this base back up. There's potential, you know, holding this base, getting this base mining. Maybe he takes this base eventually. He does have an SCV there. There's some potential still for a comeback. I think battle cruisers will be out before he's able to do so, but maybe. Little drop up here at Scan's old third base, but it is almost mined out. And again, losing these SCVs would literally be good for Scan. It's kind of a funny thing, because like this late in a TVT, you actually can keep your SCVs and just suck up all the resources on the map. But it is oftentimes very good to just lose them out when you have a bank like that and invest in something like battle cruisers. First couple battle cruisers come out. Some more being made. I think those battle cruisers are going to be the killing blow here. Me who just doesn't have that much anti air. His upgrades are not that good. Yeah, it, I'm I'm struggling to find where Mihu can make a very strong move that can change this game around. Like, he's still got good army supply, okay? So that is that is something, but it's kind of spread around into various containments and defenses. If he had like eight to ten dropships full of tank Goliath, I'm like, okay. Maybe we drop that in the main or something, and we suddenly we start to have a comeback. Excuse me, but as is, he's like kind of clearing like really weak areas, right? Like he he did some damage here, he did a little bit here. And none of that are none of those are moves that are gonna get you back into a game where you're this far behind. Right? So it's like those are moves that are good when it's like even. You just find little places to do damage and maybe you start to gain an edge. But in a game like this, he needs to like kill this or get in the main, be super cost efficient, or completely clear a base, which opens up a track to the main with his dropships later on. Right? Like, these are the types of strong moves you're looking for, and Mihu's unable to make any of them. It's like he's fighting back in, in ways that you might look at that move in and of itself and be like, okay, I guess it's okay, but then when you look at it in the context of the whole game, not good enough. BCs come out, and that means that this is over. 
scan going to advance to that next round, to that round of eight. And that means in this group, we had Saber and Scan both going up. Mihu unable to make in that final match. Leda, I guess the big disappointment for the night. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the round of 16 group B. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.